So over the past month, I have traveled to some of the coolest destinations on planet Earth. Four weeks ago, I was standing on the top of Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. Three weeks ago, I was stranded in a blizzard in the middle of Iceland. And in 10 hours, I will be in Lapland, Finland. That's right, Finland. Welcome to Finland. Just arrived. It is minus eight degrees Fahrenheit in Finland. On this trip to Finland, I will be testing out a brand new camera. I'm proud to say that this video is sponsored by Canon. I will be testing out the brand new Canon PowerShot G1X Mark III on this trip, putting it through the tests of the cold of the weather. If you've been following my YouTube channel since the very, very beginning, you know that I used a point and shoot camera for almost the first year and a half of making videos. The Canon PowerShot G1X Mark III has a 2.4 megapixel APS-C sensor, which is basically camera nerd talk for saying that this camera is incredibly powerful. It's unheard of for a point and shoot to have a sensor that large. Normally that's the size sensor that you would find in a larger camera with an interchangeable lens. When I'm traveling and I'm self-filming, one of the most important things I look for is autofocus. This is the first point and shoot in the Canon line to have the advanced autofocus dual pixel CMOS AF, which up until this point has only been found in Canon DSLRs. I'm a huge fan of the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II, but I'm thinking that this is my new go-to for on-the-go point and shoots. And now back to earlier this morning. To start this video off right, we are going to go for a traditional Finnish ice bath in the river, let's do it. So normally what you do is you go into the sauna, you warm up your body real nice to the point where you are so hot that the only way to really appease this heat and to get rid of this heat is to run down to the river and jump into the river into this little hole which they call the Finnish ice bath. Now the tradition of the smoke sauna is a massive, massive part of Finnish culture. There are approximately 5.5 million people living in Finland and there are an estimated 2 million sauna Saunas. That is how much the Finnish people like their sauna. The smoke sauna is an art form. At sunrise, a fire is made and it is stoked for six to eight hours until the rocks are heated up to the proper temperature. Normally when you do this, you go naked, but because this is going on YouTube and I want to film the whole thing from memory, we're wearing a bathing suit, but this is the entrance to the smoke sauna. Duck on in here. Shut the door behind you. This is it. Put some water on these rocks. Really get that steam going in here. Now we just sit and marinate, get nice and toasty. Because in a few minutes. Now the air is so cold that even moving river water can freeze in a matter of minutes. I'm ready for my ice bath. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go, bro. Let's go. It gets so warm in there so fast. Yeah. Like, I don't even feel cold right now. Oh, you will in a second, my friend. Fear doesn't exist. Fear is a mental thing. Fire it up for life! <laughs> I'm gonna control this. <laughs> it's actually quite therapeutic. Well, the muscles are gonna freeze up, so. Okay, come on out. Oh, nothing to it, baby. I've never felt so alive. I'm also very cold. <laughs> you are screaming, you wanna just get the hell out. <laughs> 15 seconds later, you calm down, your breathing slows, you look up at the sky, see the blue. The best way to start the day. You're probably watching that like, Eric, what are you doing? I cannot even tell you how invigorating it is to jump in ice cold water when it's minus eight, what is that in Celsius? It's cold as f is what it is. <laughs> it's very cold. The reason why I'm here in Finland, actually, I'm staying here at this castle. This is the manor house. I mean, look at this. This is basically a castle outside of Helsinki. The reason why I'm here is because I'm giving a talk today at a conference on the future of work. You know, talking about my YouTube channel and my production company, how I started a career on the internet because, you know, five years ago, this wasn't a thing. Like, making videos and traveling the world didn't really exist. Oh yeah, and I also forgot to mention that I am not on this trip alone. Joining me for the Finland travel series is... So Jared is a good friend of mine. He's also my business partner. I don't think you've actually been introduced in the, the YouTube channel. It's been a while. And then you guys know who this, <laughs> this shock is. White Shepherd, follow me. I'm gonna run inside, get warmed up, and then go give this talk. Let's go, let's get warm. Go on, dude. <laughs> I know it's cinematic out here, but let's get inside. Let's do. Uh, and I always wanted to travel there, so it was something that I organically wanted to, to share. Really research who it is that you want to align your company with. So I, I think it's just doing your homework and, and really knowing what you're looking for. 
The panel went amazing, a great talk about social media and the future of it all, and we have now made it to Helsinki. Helsinki! First time for all of us in Helsinki, kind of just walking around, getting a feel for the city, very European vibe, I mean, we are in Europe. They say it's like a little St. Petersburg-y also, like a little Russian. It's yeah, nice. I like it a lot. It's definitely cold. No, it's not cold at all. So in these travel films, I like to recommend places to go and places to eat when I'm in new cities. For dinner in Helsinki, we went to this spot called The Cock. It had a good center city atmosphere, the food was amazing, and it was right next to our hotel. For the night, we were staying at the F6 Hotel, which is a very, very fancy, swanky hotel. Check this out, I'm in the bathroom. The shower is lit up with sex lights. Tomorrow morning, we wake up and we continue the Finland adventure, and we're gonna head north. <laughs> Welcome to Kittila, as well as to holiday resorts Levi and Ulias. So the bag will be here at 6 p.m.? It will be following you. Okay, okay, right. good to know. All right, three. So the bag was found, uh, it was put on a wrong belt, but the thing is, that could have been very bad because, yeah, I mean, all the camera gear was in that bag, so that could have been very, very bad. Uh, crisis averted, we have made it to Lapland. We have a light magical snow falling. Lapland is honestly the closest thing to a snow globe IRL. If I were to step into this powder snow, I would probably go up to my high shin, maybe waist. This is a snow test. Oh! That's way bigger. Help me up. Come on. Give me you gotta get closer. Give me your... Come on. I thought it was maybe up to the kneecaps. There's, pr and I'm not even at the bottom. Oh, are you serious? Jared, I, Jared, I need help. a hand. I'm get, here to help. Get the, Okay. You want to back up? I'm actually stuck. Two idiots. <laughs> oh, oh, as you can see, it's a very snowy place and oh my gosh. <laughs> this trip was booked very last minute and the place that we're staying tonight, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. You'll see, you'll see why that's funny in a few minutes. We'll have dinner there tonight. So that'll oh be yeah, 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 you'll see, uh, you'll see dinner. Let's cut to dinner. Tonight we are dining in the world's largest igloo. I've traveled around the world and I've stayed in some pretty cool places in my time, but I've never, ever stayed in a place made out of snow. Tonight we are eating at the Ice Restaurant in the Snow Village Hotel in Lapland, Finland. Um, basically, everything in here is ice. Table, made out of ice. Chair, made out of ice. Bar, made out of ice. Silverware, not made out of ice. I'm not actually sitting on ice, I'm sitting on a nice little butt warmer faux fur. We have some blankets. If you are new to our YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe because in the next video, we are staying in the snow village overnight and we're doing a full tour of our experience sleeping, sleeping here. It's minus five Celsius. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. If you're not already, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and we will see you in the next video. Ooh, ooh, before I end that, look at this. We have some hot, hot tea to warm the soul. To Finland! Bye. And with that, I will see you in the next video.